make sure to subscribe and thumbs up the video. All right, on to the vlog. What's up, y'all? All right, next stop, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> this is my date, and uh, I think Juice is changing uh, Jackson right now, and then it'll be my turn to change Jayla. But yeah, y'all, we are at Chuck E. Cheese. Just want to get the kiddos out, get them out to exude a little bit of energy. We've been cooped up in our house simply because you know, Juice has been out of town for work stuff, and then we've had a lot of snowy days and icy days and stuff. And so we just wanted to get them out and have them get out and have some fun. Plus, we love the pizza, <laughs> and y'all know they love pizza. So anyway, we just got here, and uh, Juice and I are going to switch here in two seconds, place an order, and have some fun. So, by the way, y'all, Jackie did amazing. Okay. I don't even know if I've mentioned this to y'all, but whenever he goes to get his hair cut, he does fine. Up until the lining, right? Up until the lineup. Y'all, not a peep. They did the lineup, not a peep. You hear me? He sat like a big boy and didn't move in that chair, didn't wince in that chair, didn't cry in that chair. Nothing. I had to kind of stay back though. That's why I didn't get real close because once he saw mommy, he wanted me to pick him up. You know what I mean? So I had to kind of stay back in the cut. But honey, he did so well. He did so well. Everybody in the, in the shop was just like, how old is he? I'm like, he's two. They're like, I can't believe he sat through that. So he did really well. Jayla did amazing. Because we were there for a while, we had to wait for a couple of uh, people ahead of us. And uh, even with you know them having to sit down and all of that, they just, they just did. They just did. When they wanted to get up and walk around, they did. And they didn't get into anybody's way. Thank God for technology, so yeah. It was very smooth, very, very smooth. And they made some friends in the process. So that was, anyway, very excited, because y'all know I love me some Chuck E. Cheese. I'm a big kid, so this is gonna be fun. Y'all, Jackson came out. He grabbed this, by the way, and just started going like this, pizza, pizza. It's Chuck E. Cheese. It's Chuck E. Yeah. Oh, that's a plane. Yeah, go ahead and eat order. I oh, know, we hungry. Yes. Careful, big man. Uh-oh, he's spilling it, huh? Oh my gosh, she's very concerned. Be careful, you're gonna poke yourself in the eye. Idea, idea. Idea, idea. We're trying to figure out what he's saying when he says, idea, idea, idea. Maybe he's saying, I did it? I don't know. I did it? Idea, idea. It's the only thing he says that we cannot understand what it is. We don't know what he's saying. That is juice. You have lots of juice. Yeah. Yum. The truck. You see the truck? He's been pointing out trains and trucks. It's a bird. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, don't start that now. Don't start that now. Nope. Drink your drink, baby girl. Yeah, juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jayla, we can do that. We got that. We got that. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. You don't have to do that, okay? You're welcome, sweetheart. You're welcome. You're welcome. You've been so polite. Uh oh, you got some stuff on. There you go. There you go. We're gonna have pizza first and then we're gonna play games. You gotta eat first. Yeah, we're all hungry. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jay.
job, Jayla. Good job, sweet bean. playing ABC Mouse. However, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned to you guys that we are having a brand new 30 day challenge, okay? It starts on March 18th. So if any of you guys have ever wanted to join any one of my challenges, this is the time to get involved and get going, okay? Again, it starts on March 18th. It includes a 30 day meal plan. It includes a 30 day workout plan that can be done at home or at the gym. Okay, you have private group support, you have one on one support from myself as well because I'm your coach and accountability partner, bonus recipes, bonus workouts, and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, right now, our current challengers are doing an ab challenge, so that's in addition to what they already have as part of their workout, etc. etc. So, all you have to do is hit the link at the top of the description box. If you guys want to be involved in this challenge, I invite everyone, no matter what your goal is, whether it's to lose weight, tone up, gain weight, just live a healthier lifestyle, this is the challenge for you. It is a 30 day challenge, it starts March 18th, okay? And if you guys wanna see before and after pictures of my clients, go check out my Instagram, it's Socialite Sandy. S-A-N-D-E, and you can see my clients' results there, okay? But if you guys wanna get involved, hit me up at the top of the description box, fill out the survey, and I will follow up with you and get you started. Back to the vlog. What's up, y'all? We're back at the crib. Baby girl and baby boy are exhausted. April fell asleep in the car. And so, I've got Jayla now, and we're getting Jax, just getting Jax ready for bed. He's getting a bath, and she's next. She's gonna get a little bathy bath. And then we're gonna put the kiddos to bed. But we had such a ball today. Such a ball. Didn't have a chance to hit the gym. Um, I might have mentioned earlier that we were gonna try to make, uh, make it a point to do that. But, <clears throat> because of the fact that um, the barber that normally does Jackson's hair wasn't there today, um, and then his boy G didn't come into town because of all the bad weather, we, weather we've been having, um, because he comes in from Atlanta to come to St. Louis to take care of clients here on the weekends and stuff, so, um, we ended up going to another barber, so we had to go out a little earlier, and I'm glad that we did, because, um, he was really good, turned out really, really good with Jax, and, um, we were able to, oh, go ahead and get his hair cut, and, 
then we were able to go have some fun, but it wouldn't have been able, we wouldn't have had time to squeeze in getting in the gym, so. Hopefully we can maybe make it tomorrow. We got another busy day tomorrow with the kiddos. We've got uh, a basketball game to go to tomorrow also. Gotta go see Caden play basketball, so. Tomorrow's gonna be another fun-filled day with the kiddos and the family, so. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you guys go, but I'll let you guys see Jax if he stays awake long enough to say goodnight to you guys, and so you can also say goodnight to Juice. So, I'll be back. Big man! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got a bath. Oh, got a little water on you still. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. okay, you're not wanting to share. Okay, okay, okay. She knows it's her bath time too. Oh, normally she would get up and go right to the bath, but Maybe. she loves this, yeah. this chair. One. Whoa. Say hi. Whoa. Whoa. Say hi. Water's still coming down your face. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. You're doing a job. Did you have fun at Chuck E. Cheese? Cheese. Yeah. You had fun? You had pizza? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you had juice? Mm -hmm. And you rode the train. Train. Mm -hmm. And you you raced cars. Cars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had fun. You fun. guys had a blast, right? Blast. You had fun. Fun. Yep. <laughs> it's like I'm forcing him to say it. He's like fun. Cars. Trains. Here, Jacob's water going. Mm -hmm. You ready to go to bed? No. The answer that one. Baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Yeah, yeah. He calls yeah. her baby girl too, by the way. Yeah. He goes, it's and he has such a hard time saying it like fast. He'd be like, bip, 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 bip. it's hilarious. Anyway, y'all, be right back. We gonna get this. Uh, we gonna we gonna get a uh, baby girl bathe. <laughs> Bingo was his name. There he is. Bingo! Okay, Bingo was his name. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog. And Bingo was his name. Oh. Yep, doggy. You just pet the doggy. the fly. It wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside of her. She swallowed a cat to catch the spider. She swallowed a dog to catch the cat. She swallowed a cow. What does a cow do? She swallowed a cow to catch the dog. <laughs> 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 
There was a farmer who had a dog. Ready? And Bingo was his name. <laughs> Ready? B I N G O. B I N G O. <laughs> B. <laughs> B I N G U and Bingo was his name. Okay. There he is. There he is. Okay, let's do another one. You don't like that one as much, huh? Okay, ready? Ready? There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. There was no lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. <laughs> Good ball. Okay, ready? She swallowed a spider to catch the fly. It wiggled and jiggled and jiggled inside of her. <laughs> okay, 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 ready? She swallowed a cat to catch the spider. <gasps> meow. Meow. She swallowed a dog to catch the cat. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. She swallowed a cow to catch the dog. What does a cow do? Mwah. <laughs> girl. I love you too. Mm. Okay, ready? She swallowed a horse to catch the cow. She's all full now. The end. Oh my gosh. Oh, purple girl. <laughs> all right, you guys. It is the end of the evening. Play, play, play. <laughs> and it's time to put these play, kids to bed. Play, play. And I didn't have a chance to say goodnight to you guys yesterday. So I wanted to make sure that we popped in to say goodnight to you guys tonight. You drink your milk with? No. No, he actually offered it to Jayla at first. Oh, here's your So he hasn't had it yet. Yeah. But yeah, today was just awesome. It was just nice to get out with the kids. We didn't get a chance to go to the gym and work out, but we sure as heck got Jackson's haircut, which we wanted and needed to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a Christmas miracle, y'all. Mmm. Thank you, sweetie. And she's so sweet with a mouth full of milk. Mwah. Thank a you. Mouth full of milk. Oh, you gotta get them soup coolers, Jayla. Mmm. Three times. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jayla. Okay, <laughs> That's so nice, Jackson. Well, Your milk. milk. Well. Day night, day night with the kids was a success. success. It was rough for a minute though, I ain't gonna lie. Like when we first sat down, it was rough, wasn't it? Juice. When we sat down, when we first sat down and had to get the pizza and yeah. get them settled. Like Jackson wanted to jump ship. He was ready to play immediately, but we knew they needed to eat. Peas, peas. Then he wanted to drink everything but his juice. He wanted to drink everything we were, you know what I mean? Anything but, yeah. er, but his stuff. Then he wanted to play with the uh, Parmesan, what was the Parmesan shakers? Mm hmm and the and, uh, hot pepper thing. Hot pepper, yeah. like he did the other night. Yeah, man. So I guess uh, we'll get to celebrate Valentine's Day one of these days. But... Sorry for this weird angle, but Juice's box was on down but, there. But tonight, uh, date night with the kids was... Get your butt in the sheet good so I can have a normal uh, angle. Um, Such is parent life. <laughs> Which we wouldn't change for the world, obviously. Look at him using my mom. Mommy Jay, she said, Mommy Daddy. Don't you be taking that milk to the head. Boy. Anyway, I got my reading materials here next to me, so when they finally do fall asleep, ow, I'm gonna listen to my books because I have not done that today. I did not sit down and take my little 15, 20 minutes of time to like listen to my audiobooks. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do that right now. I gotta figure out which book I'm gonna start reading. Because I've already gone through three books in the last couple of weeks. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have heard the whole situation. I don't even know if I've shared that with you guys yet. I might. 
that I just, I'd make it a point to make sure that every day I take like 15, 20 minutes to um, um, listen to a book now because it's so hard to sit down and actually open a physical book to read it because something always gets in the way where I start to wear my headphones when they're down for a nap or whatever. Or when I'm making my breakfast or fixing their stuff or while they're eating or whatever or occupied or whatever and listen to it on my headphones. So I got my headphones next to me and I'm gonna listen to my book. So I did, um, let me tell you what books I read though. The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, but the word with asterisks. Um, let's see. What was the other book? Um, oh no, no, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. That's not on my leg, woo. Um, yeah, that train hurts on my leg. Um, what was that one book, Juice? Um, dang it, what's that one book? That, what's the one book that your dad gave you? To, and that we have in hard, hard. Don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. Um, I did finish that. I've actually read that before, um, but I just wanted to reread it again because, it, just because it has a lot of really good principles. Um, but how, ooh, all that milk, pepper, bless you, honey. Um, yeah, the subtle art of not giving an F. Um, don't sweat the small stuff. Um, oh my God, what's the oh, 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 what's the other one that I read? Mommy brain, you guys. Um, Un-F yourself is the other one. So those are the three that I have read as of late. Um, I started to read another book that I was not a big fan of. I'll have to tell you what book that was when I remember. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it up. Um, and yeah, maybe you'll have to let me know. It just came out. It's one of, it's one of the, um, here. Let me see if it's still in my library because if it is, then I can tell you what book. I didn't like it. Um, I didn't like the way, the way they formatted it. But anyway, those books that I just recommend, or that I just not recommended, I haven't recommended them to you yet, that I just mentioned that I've read are great books. Great books. Highly recommend checking them out. Let me see. It's called Take Control of Your Life, How to Silence Your Fears. And here's the thing. No, 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 no. And here's the thing. It's not necessarily about taking control of your life. I read kind of a bio on the author of the book and um, I liked her message and she has a couple other books that seem seemingly interesting to me but I don't like the format of this book it's a whole bunch of different um, I don't know I just don't like the format she wrote the five second rule. oh you want oh you want the sheet here yeah, she's read, uh, she actually wrote this book called The Five Second Rule, which is another book that I wanted to read, um, but I decided to read that first one and I didn't like the format. Like, it's literally her speaking to a whole bunch of people in case studies, they're each doing like a different case study. Um, but yeah, it's a whole bunch of her speaking to, literally speaking to, um, different people and each person that she does an interview with is a different case study that's based on a different topic matter and I just... Not a big fan of that because then I have to listen to their whole story before I even see if it applies to whatever it is I'm listening to. Like I just no patience. So the thing I loved about the subtle art about giving an F and uh, the un F yourself. It's very like to the point. Especially the subtle art of not giving an F. I prefer that book over the um, un F yourself. Okay, but they both are good books. Um, but I just like how they just get to it. And y'all know anything where there's any kind of cussing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's just like hardcore, like Gary V type stuff, if you know who Gary V is. Um, that's what resonates to me. So, mm -hmm, my toes. So anyway, highly recommend you guys check this book out. It books out if you guys haven't checked them out. Um, would not recommend that one book. Um, it's new too. It's Take Control of Your Life, How to Science. And I really should have looked at the reviews. The reviews were good, but there weren't very many of them. And when there's usually not very many of them, it's probably not going to be a good book. At least that's what I've found in my um, experience so far. So anyway, another book that I started to read, You Are a Badass. Um, it's boring as hell to me, so I kind of stopped reading it. So we'll see. I'll try to give it a shot again. That's a book I should download a long time ago, but I lost interest in it because it just did not appeal to me. Anyway, I'm just talking y'all's ear off, but... Anyway, those are the books I'm reading right now, and so I'm gonna pick another book to read because I actually returned that one book that I told you I didn't like, and I need to find a replacement for it. So I'm gonna find a replacement and see which one I like. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Um, but you guys see kind of where I'm going. I like this a lot. I'm not giving an F. Uh, on F yourself, that type of stuff. That's I love that type of stuff. Um, cause it's like all about frame of, you know, the way you think and speaking positivity in, into existence without being overly cheesy. So, it's like the secret 
with edge. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyway, Ow. Ow. anyway I just talked your ear off, but. Ow. So I'm about to sit here, listen to some audiobooks while Juice washes, um, what you call it? The dunk contest that he taped, I think. You trying to see my feet or hammer time? He's on my, he's on my callus right now. I'm talking about some. Um, it's a hurt. You got jokes. Anyway, kids can be too, too real. All right. Anyway, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. While you guys are here, thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we love y'all. We will see y'all in the next vlog, you guys. Love y'all. Bye.